Welcome to this screencast about using Grand.org. This time we will have a look at the full feature in the panels and also some other unusual but maybe nice things. For this occasion we will load the Barton set. And it has some warnings coming up, but you can safely ignore them. And just let the set load. And here we see the wonderful console view, the main screen. But what you will note is that there are no stops visible on this main menu. We can configure the keyboards as usual. You right click on them, select listen for event and hit a key on the MIDI keyboard you wish to connect. And to change any stops, you will need to go into the panel Barton 3.7 and the stops view. This is something that the sample set creator has created um, for you. And here we can select some stops for the different manuals. let's say something like this so we have okay so it works okay then we will try to store this in the generals. And as usual we select set and push the button that we want to store this in. And then we change a few stops. To have a different sound. and we store it in the second. Disable the set and we wish to return to the first combination. But nothing happens. And this is because the stops are not visible on the main menu. And to store the invisible stops we need to select full instead. And then we can set it on the second and we change the stops again to something like this. And store it on one. And now it will change and it, it's stored now and you don't have to have the full actually um, on when you are switching between them only when you store the combination you need to have it active okay now we will have a look at another feature of this set that you can have some use of and it's the second panel that is created the second touch view and this is the great second touch the same as the middle manual on the main screen only we have to configure it for for the keyboard MIDI 
So we select listen for event and push. But let's say that we want to have it only activate if I push fast enough or hard enough on the keys. So we set it to respond from 70 velocity and upwards. And we do it the same for the accompaniment. Okay. And we can select some stops now. We can put it here. And I will play on the grate. Um, and you see that if I only pu push lightly, it will only play on the main panel. But if I play hard, Take some practice to really play well and uh, good settings, of course. Um, I don't have a velocity sensitive pedal, so I cannot um, select in that way for the pe pedal. But what I can do is to instead set only part of the pedal to, to play on the second touch. And the lowest C is key 36. And I set just the lowest octave to play on the second touch. Okay. So, and I enable the bass drum. If I play the middle, the little C, then it only plays on the main pedal. But if I go lower, then it plays also on the second touch. Okay, now we have seen these features. Thanks for watching.